The Wonder plugin by Mount Mograph is the ultimate media search and asset collection extension using Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. You can add GIFs, emojis, SVG vectors, icon packs, stock imagery from a simple interface, royalty-free libraries such as Flickr, Wikipedia, Unsplash, Giphy, and a bunch of icon packs right into After Effects and Premiere, which puts more than 62 million files right at your fingertips. This is why you should be using Wonder. So here is the Wonder interface. Okay, so we have four categories here. We have GIF or GIF, I'm not gonna start that. We have stock footage. We have vectors such as emojis, icons, and primitives. And we have a tab showing us our recently used media. So let's explore the GIF tab. We can search for our media in this box here. So let's go for dogs. And it's gonna show us all these lovely GIFs of adorable dogs. So let's create a composition. Right click, new composition, and let's call this dogs. To add one of these GIFs to your composition, you simply need to double click it. And there you go, it's added to your composition and then you can press space and it will play. It's going to be added to the composition at the resolution in which it is available. So you can see down here, it says 384 by 480. Our composition is 1920 by 1080. So this is gonna enter the composition significantly smaller. We can scale it up, but obviously at the cost of the resolution. Now there are some options down here to either loop the GIF or pre-compose the GIF. If I uncheck pre-compose and then click the GIF, you can see now it's not been pre-composed, it's just in its own layer. Whereas if I click pre-compose and I click again, it's in its own composition now. If I uncheck loop and I click, the composition will not loop. So you get to the end of it here and it stops. Whereas if I click loop and click the composition, you can see it adds very, very long composition and it's added a time remap keyframe. And inside here, you can see there's a loop expression that's been added here. That means once it gets to the end of the composition, it will simply loop back around again. If you want to hide or show the media information here, like the name and the resolution and the little icon, you can click this triangle down at the bottom right and that will show or hide the media information. So let's explore the other sub tabs within this GIF section. So they're stickers. Stickers are more curated artistic content and they usually come with the advantage that they have alpha backgrounds as well. So for instance, we could add this lovely dog here and he's looping. So we can simply extend this to as long as we want and it will keep on looping. Let's scale him up a little bit and let's add this uh, speech bubble here. Who's a good doggy? We can have it right over the top or we can have it behind like this. And there you go. So let's go to the text tab here. These are basically stickers, but only text. If we remove our speech bubble here and we add a different one, maybe good doggo. And you can see again, there's nice alpha there. So we can simply like put it behind or wherever we want it. Um, let's say there. The emoji tab is as it sounds. It's a bunch of emojis. These also include alpha as well. So let's add uh, my favorite emoji, which is a uh, little poop. Let's just put him over here maybe, scale him up a bit. Let's make it look like the dog has done a little poop. Let's just put him there. There we go. The next main category is the stock images. So let's remove what we've done here. And we can search through three different libraries here, Unsplash, Wikipedia, and Flickr. And as I said at the start of the video, these images are all royalty free, so you can use them for commercial purposes. So let's add in one of these. Oh, that's a cute one. And it's automatically scaled this image down because uh, the original resolution was 6,000 by 400. So it's gonna be much too big if it was full. So we can just scale it up to exactly what we want. Let's say this, and there you go. So if I go to Wikipedia, we can see there's more images here. Let's maybe try this one. And Flickr. These seem a little more like motivational posters. There's some dogs there. So the next category we're going to be looking at is the vector category up here. So all of these will convert to shape layers when you import them, which means they will be infinitely scalable and will come with all that goodness that you get when you work with vector. So for example, let's add one of these smileys. And you can see here it's an actual shape layer with all the contents inside, all these different groups. And you can disable the ones that you don't want and you can do all the normal shape layer operations like trim paths, for instance. You can sort through the different categories here like animals and nature, travels and places, activities. These should be similar to the categories that you see when you're on your phone and you're searching through the emojis. 
The next subcategory within the vector category is icons. So if we click that. When I found this, I was so excited because so much of my workflow involves creating vectors in Illustrator and then importing them over to After Effects. And this would save so much time. If I scroll down here, you've got everything you could possibly need. So at the start, we've got the bootstrap category, which is normally for web interfaces, but it works just as well. We've got dev icons, we've got feather library, we've got game icons, we've got Gramit, and we've got loads more. And you can search for particular icons. So if we wanted, for instance, an arrow, we can type in arrow in the search field, and all of these arrow icons pop up. There is also a primitive subcategory here, which will simply show you a bunch of primitive shapes that you can add, like an isosceles triangle, a nonagon, if you didn't know what that was, because I didn't, and simple squares and circles. The final tab up here shows you your recently used media. So here's all the stuff we've added, all these emojis, primitives, GIFs, in case you need to access the same stuff frequently. And you can sort by the last seven days, the last month, etc. The button at the bottom left will take you to the menu where you can update your plugins, customize your interface, look at your license, report any bugs, submit any requests, you know the stuff. I will definitely be adding the Wonder plugin to my workflow, mainly for the built-in vector library, as I feel this will save me so much time creating tedious icons in Illustrator. If you want to download this plugin, you can get a 10% discount using my code in the description, and I will get a small commission too, so you'd really be helping me out. Please like the video guys and share it with your friends. I really think this plugin needs more attention considering how useful it is. See you on the flippity flop.